Hi everyone, we are UNCO2 and we are a group of uh, academics looking at interdisciplinary climate change education for secondary school pupils in line with the new curriculum for Wales. The idea is that we're using interactive narrative for climate change education. The project takes a STEAM approach to learning that science, technology, engineering and mathematics with the A of arts put back in there for a nice multidisciplinary learning style. We use three workshops delivered in classrooms and now adapted for online delivery that educate students about carbon dioxide and its role in climate change and how they can change their everyday activities to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. UNCO2 combines the talents, skills, and insights from Dr. Jennifer Rudd in the School of Management at Swansea University, Dr. Lyle Skeynes at Bournemouth University, Dr. Ruth Horry in the Department of Psychology at Swansea University, and Dr. Helen Ross from Helen's Place. As UNCO2 has already been implemented in several schools in Wales, we've had very good feedback from teachers and educational researchers, including Professor Tom Crick at Swansea University, who notes that UNCO2 provides the foundation for developing ambitious, capable learners who can be ethical, informed future citizens of Wales. UNCO2 is broken into three workshops and takes up about five hours of teaching time and one hour of homework activity. So in the first workshop, the students discuss the relationship between carbon dioxide and the climate. They create simple molecules such as carbon dioxide, methane and water to understand where carbon dioxide comes from. And they calculate their own carbon footprints using up to date reference documents. In workshop two, Students read No World for Tomorrow, which is a custom interactive digital fiction designed specifically for this project. And they use this to discuss topics about climate change and their roles within it. No World for Tomorrow is available in both English and Welsh translations. It includes the ability for students to input their own names, including the names of their friends, parents, relatives, and choose pronouns so that the students have a personal experience of the story events. Once they begin the story, the students have various options that they can select from small choices, such as the types of transportation that they use and foods that they eat, to larger choices that direct the overall storyline. This interactivity encourages the students to think more deeply about their choices and explore the consequences of various actions. Workshop three is the culmination of the project and students are able to use the things that they've learned in the first two workshops and take inspiration from No World for Tomorrow that they previously read. They use a very basic coding language to create their own interactive digital narratives. They then submit these to the project and we showcase the best on our website. Our two favourites are Linda and a Catchy Story and Destroying Makeup, and we strongly encourage that you look at our website and read the student digital fictions for yourselves. Our website also includes a number of resources for teachers and parents to teach their students and children about climate change. This includes the full game of No World for Tomorrow, sample student games, tutorials on using Twine to build their stories, and a UNCO2 teacher's pack. The UNCO2 teacher's pack includes materials both for classroom learning and for fully online teaching needs. It includes lesson plans, in-class activities, and homework activities, and differentiated materials for students of different educational needs. If you're a school teacher or homeschooling parent who would like to use the UNCO2 material, please do get in touch with us through the UNCO2 website, which is uncoto.org. You can also contact us on Twitter at UNCO2CCE.